water bottles all they he used to do this small kind of chore of work and he did he used to get some food uh, uh, some money in this way the mother and the son they they are being surviving and uh, in this domestic work of helper of this pavan's mother the domestic help you know about the situation of the domestic helpers in family they used to work they were not treated properly no proper payment of their wages the working hours is not same their the way of treatment is not same if they used to get the scolding they used to be in a should be their voice or all this kind of the domestic helper problems that she has been facing on the other side this 13 years of age of boy is not going to school he has been working as a child basically in the child labor of work he has been begging sometimes he used to get the food money stay full all, all this is what the situation these two one is about the children other is about the woman they have been facing up so in this regard we have been saying that these two they can have the they are not getting their fundamental rights from the constitution they are not getting the uh, rights of the human rights for the development not they are using the fundamental rights not they are getting the use of the human rights that is the right to freedom right to liberty when they are being facing up regarding this they have been given to some questions related to this one so in the exam example do you think pavan and his mother are able to deal with dignity dignity with self respect self thing what they are doing no basically they are not living with the self dignity because one is working as a domestic helper to some of the families and the other the child pavan is not having his, the self dignity self respect what the people are giving to him is when you they are getting the things and some are some in school all this in this regard they are not living with their uh, self dignity that is about the right to liberty second question what will keep them their life with dignity so with, to live with dignity what are the things are been required so basically the dignity to be uh, live out the self they are can require the basic uh, amenities the basic facilities so basic facilities what what it requires with their earlier free the food cloth and shelter but now is it is also goes with the five basic needs the basic aspect the first is food second shelter third cloth food water fifth sanitation so these are the five basic things where the children can uh, the, they can live with the dignity having the food shelter and nowadays it also being goes with the education the minimum the basic education all this it goes and need to have a life for the dignity of the person 
स्टेट ऑफ राजस्थान इट वाज बीन स्टार्टेड बाय वन पार्टिकुलर बैनर कॉल्ड बैनर और वी कैन से विद दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो व्हाट इज दैट बैनर नेम इज एम के एस एस सो मंसूर किसान शक्ति संगठन सो दिस हैज बीन गेट फॉर्म बिकॉज इन दिस मंसूर किसान शक्ति ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लाइक इट इज आल्सो वन ऑफ लाइक इन रूरल एरिया द वर्कर्स हैव बीन वर्किंग ओपन द गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल द पीपल आर वर्किंग एट द सेम टाइम दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पीपल दिस मंसूर किसान द फार्मर दे वांटेड टू नो हाउ मच द गवर्नमेंट हैज बीन स्पेंडेड द मनी एंड हाउ मच दे आर स्पेंडिंग ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर द प्रोग्राम व्हाट इट इज बीन गोइंग डूइंग so people of this uh, sangam organization one of the other person one person to, uh, to the government official other person to the other government in that uh, official only they started collecting the information like how much money is government government is spent sanction where it is how it is all in de- in detail they started collecting the information so this has been took nearly 3 years for to get the information to this um, uh, sangam organization so slowly this government officials also they got the idea like uh, these people they were collecting the information from us like what program they are doing or in how, how many is been doing all in detail they were doing it so these were made three years almost they have been got information and in the year 1995 this was been happened uh, so 1995 this was been placed period out later during the same years many other states also been adopted the same thing like how in rajasthan people they were doing up so right to information act later on this rti act 1995 in rajasthan it was followed by other state also by in this country this rti act it was passed in the year 2005 officially so till now this uh, under this fundamental rights of this uh, liberty and freedom this rti is also being one of the important act it just been get passed in the year 2005 with this uh, 1995 already that was being done in the rajasthan and other state to get the information so here we have been given out this uh, complete jan uh, sunwai so what is here jan sunwai one more aspect rti information this is one of the organization the next the case study is about jan sunwai means people's voice people's hearing or people's voice so this is about the people's uh, voice organization like uh, early course decisions all these been get happening or so here this law what includes is this rti act there there will be the official courses there will be the law officer in that like sequence order what it is how it is in this one the very first it will be law information officer then the other it goes to the individual opinion authority like to this area there will be one uh, head officer opinion officer then it goes to the central uh, level officer then also in way so one of the other one of the other it will be having the official uh, authorities so first it will be having the information officer the info, individual opinion officer who is expected to do what it is been happening like class teacher or class like leader so class leader it goes to the class teacher class teachers it goes to 
goes to the state uh, central uh, state government or to the central government central information commissions so this rti it is also been playing a very important role for the development of the government because here is according to this rti act people are getting awareness like how the government is collecting the taxes in what with the spending what type of program what it is been doing how it is been doing even the individual person can avail this information through this rti act so before this year the it leads to the right to development act so you have in this uh, text one page of 205 from here we have been going to have this inbox of questions related like uh, this just now i have been read out this inbox questions the page of 205 then next here there will still two more to the questions the rajasthan act it has been became 207 page these two here the questions discuss how the information the, uh, this is one and this is one i'll just read out these three questions and these two questions of uh, rti provision page of 207 this is how the information regarding the roads road construction or building of houses is maintained by contractor so in a daily life we will be seeing the contractors who will be laid the roads the building constructions how they used to maintain the records how much money they report, uh, they have been uh, given out what they have been in what type of material how much time it takes so all it is about the uh, information that is been get, kept with the contractor and contractor whether it is a state government authority or whether it is the person who has been constructing that particular house building second question why do you think checking this information can help in improving accountability accountability means correctness accounts maintaining of the money uh, properly it should not spend more or uh, showing the less so all this can need to be shown with the accountability properly like how much tax in the people are paying giving the government is correcting that money how much the government is spending whether they are spending in proper manner or not how it is being manipulated so all this need to the accountability by if we are being keep checking on that particular uh, uh, investment where the government is being doing up next one the so information is a crucial to the human development and democratic right people can participate in government and ensure just development only if they have sufficient information in the form of official documents so sometimes this rti information what we want to require uh, if you are in, uh, very much like crucial for the development of the country we need to develop this we need to have the sufficient information what the government is doing even sometimes the government will give the proper information like uh, if you if i don't ask if you other people don't uh, they won't uh, interested to ask in spite of that the government will do the announcements they will show with the play boards all that information that is without information this is with information they want to get the proper and accurate information next information will make the governments more accountable in their functioning it is possible to monitor the functioning the extent possibility of correct practices information is crucial to the survival of the poor so just now i said information what the people have been collecting even the individual person i can also collect you can also get the information in the law as a case whoever want the information according to the particular program what it is been doing what respect of the government that leads to the government to work properly and efficiently and that money which is been not spending out the money will be going to spend to the poor people and ultimately it leads to the development of the country now in a situation where information has been made to public arbitrary decisions by the elected representatives or the officials can be controlled so in this regard the situation all the information it is getting the public with in a proper manner it leads to the uh, proper elected representatives so properly represented elected representatives means one person is elected for 5 years basically it will be 5 years the elected representatives if he is doing anything wrong according to his uh, the program or the spending of money or the pro uh, this policies if it is been wrong ruled by the sh- with this information then he is no he is accountable why he is been done for what reason we need to inform it to the people at the same time to the government so probably next in the next uh, term in the elections part he might not be or he or she the person cannot might be going to get the seat or be elected 
So, in this regard, it plays a very important role, this RTI Act, for the development of the country to the, you know, to the individual and at the same time, the elect, one elected, elected representatives also. So, in the next class, we will be going to know about the rights uh, development and next is RTE, your right, that is right to education act about the children. This, this is about one act, RTI, according to the information. RTE, right to education of your children, right? What are your rights being to the education by the state or the central government?